Belize, a small nation located on the eastern coast of Central America, is an enigma and a treasure chest of captivating history, cultural fusion, and natural wonders. Belize's size belies its rich biodiversity and cultural diversity, which are the result of its unique geographic location between Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula to the north, Guatemala to the west and south, and the Caribbean Sea to the east. Before we dive into the enigma that is Belize, it's important to appreciate the country's demographics. Belize is home to around 420,000 inhabitants, making it one of the least densely populated countries in the world. The ethnic makeup of Belize is a melting pot, with a mix of Maya, Creole, Mestizo, Garifuna, East Indian, Mennonite, Arab, Chinese, and European. Each ethnic group brings its unique customs, traditions, and languages, adding layers to the vibrant Belizean culture. The nation's official language is English, a legacy of its British colonial past. However, you'd be mistaken to think that's all you'd hear in Belize. Spanish, Creole, Mayan dialects, and Garifuna also echo in the streets and homes, reflecting the nation's linguistic diversity. Geographically, Belize is divided into six districts, each with its unique character and charm. The northern districts of Corozal and Orange Walk are rich with Maya ruins, sugarcane fields, and mestizo culture. Belize District is home to Belize City, the economic heart of the country, and the paradisiacal islands known as Kai. The western districts of Cayo and the southern districts of Stan Creek and Toledo showcase lush jungles, mountains, and the heartland of Garifuna culture. Now, let's venture back in time to the genesis of Belize, which starts with the Maya civilization. The land now known as Belize was a key part of the ancient Maya world, from around 2000 BCE until 1500 CE archaeologists estimate that at its peak, over a million people may have lived in the region, which is dotted with over 900 Maya sites. The Maya civilization's decline was followed by the arrival of Europeans. Christopher Columbus sailed along the coast of Belize in 1502 during his fourth voyage but never set foot on land. It was not until the 17th century that the British established logging camps in the area, which eventually led to British colonization. Belize, known as British Honduras until 1973, was Britain's last colony on the American mainland. It enjoyed a relatively peaceful colonial history compared to its neighbors. However, the path to independence was not without struggles, especially the territorial disputes with neighboring Guatemala. Belize's independence was finally achieved on September 21, 1981, and the young nation has been making its mark on the world stage ever since. It's crucial to remember that Belize's history is not just confined to land. The marine history of Belize is just as intriguing. Belize's barrier reef, the second largest in the world, was once a hideout for pirates of the Caribbean. Today, it is one of the world's most diverse ecosystems, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and a major attraction for divers and marine life enthusiasts from around the globe. Belize's economy is as diverse as its landscape and culture. Agriculture, particularly the cultivation of sugar cane, banana, and citrus, is a significant contributor to the country's GDP. Over the years, tourism has grown into a leading industry, thanks to Belize's natural beauty and biodiversity, making the country a sought-after destination for ecotourism. Belize's rich cultural tapestry comes alive through its festivities. Each ethnic group celebrates their distinct holidays, which are full of color, music, dance, and food. Belizeans know how to celebrate life, whether it's the Garifuna Settlement Day, the Deer Dance Festival of the Maya, the Creoles Barons Bliss Day, or the national holiday, Belize Independence Day. Speaking of food, Belize's cuisine is a gastronomic reflection of its history and ethnic diversity. Rice and beans, a Creole specialty, is a common staple, often accompanied by chicken, beef, or fish. The mestizo influence brings dishes like pibil and salbutes, while the garifuna are known for their hudit, a fish and coconut stew. Education in Belize follows the British model. Schools are mandatory for children between the ages of 5 and 14. The nation boasts a literacy rate of approximately 82%. The University of Belize, established in 2000, is the country's primary institution for higher education. As you delve deeper into Belize's mesmerizing jungles, you will find that the country is an environmentalist's dream. Over 60% of Belize's land surface is covered by forest, and a significant portion of it is protected under the law. The Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary, for instance, was the world's first jaguar preserve. 
One of the greatest symbols of Belizean identity is the national flag. It is the only country in the world whose flag features human beings. At the center of the flag, there is a coat of arms that includes two woodcutters, a nod to the country's historical logging industry. The national motto below the coat of arms, Sub Umbra Florio, translates to, Under the Shade, I Flourish. Belize's currency, the Belize dollar, BZD, is pegged to the US dollar at a rate of 2 to 1. The notes feature Queen Elizabeth II but also local birds, a tribute to the country's rich biodiversity. Wildlife enthusiasts will find Belize a paradise, as it's home to an array of animals like jaguars, pumas, tapirs, scarlet macaws, toucans, and countless species of reptiles, including the majestic boa constrictor and the fascinating fair de lance snake. The country's wildlife sanctuaries, reserves, and national parks offer glimpses into this vibrant world of biodiversity. Belize's climate is classified as subtropical. The dry season runs from February to May and the wet season from June to November. Regardless of the season, the country's beauty never diminishes, with its endless natural wonders transforming with the changing weather patterns. No discussion about Belize is complete without its most significant Maya site, Caracol. Once one of the most influential cities in the Maya world, today it stands as a testament to the architectural and cultural prowess of this ancient civilization. The site's tallest structure, Kana or Sky Place, remains one of the tallest man-made structures in the entire country. Belize's musical soundscape is as diverse as its people. Punta Rock, a fusion of traditional Garifuna music with modern elements, is popular throughout the country. Brookdown, a genre born from the Creole culture, and the Maya's harp-based paranda music, add to Belize's rich symphony of sounds. Belize City, the largest city in Belize, is the nation's historical capital and commercial hub. Though the capital was moved to Belmopan after Hurricane Hattie in 1961, Belize City remains the cultural, economic, and transportation heart of the country. Heading from Belize City towards the coast, the enchanting islands or Kai of Belize are a must-visit. Ambergris Cay, the largest of them, is a paradise for divers and beach lovers. Its only town, San Pedro, served as the inspiration for Madonna's song, La Isla Bonita. Another fascinating island is Cay Cocker, a smaller and more laid-back version of Ambergris Cay. It's popular among backpackers and those looking for a slower pace of life, encapsulated in its unofficial motto, Go Slow. Belize is also home to the Great Blue Hole, a giant marine sinkhole off the coast. It was made famous by Jacques Cousteau, who declared it one of the top five scuba diving sites in the world. It's not only a major attraction for divers but also for scientists who study its unique geological formation. Belize's transportation is an adventure in itself. The country lacks an extensive road network, but the boat rides connecting the mainland with the Kai, and the small plains providing aerial views of the country, are experiences in their own right. Another fascinating aspect of Belize is its unique blend of religions. Catholicism, introduced by the Spanish, is the predominant faith. However, there's also a significant Protestant presence, thanks to the British. Moreover, Mayan spirituality, the Garifanas Dugu ceremonies, and the Mennonites' Anabaptist beliefs add to Belize's religious diversity. Belize has a democratic government based on the British parliamentary system. The country is a Commonwealth realm, meaning Queen Elizabeth II serves as the monarch and head of state, represented in Belize by a governor-general. However, Belize's day-to-day -day affairs are run by its prime minister and the cabinet. The Belizean passion for sports is another delightful aspect of the nation. Football is widely played and loved, but basketball also holds a special place in Belizeans' hearts. The annual cross-country cycling race, held on Holy Saturday, is a highlight on Belize's sporting calendar. Belizean literature is a blend of traditional oral stories and contemporary works. The legends of Tata Duende, a guardian of the forests and animals, and La Llorona, a spirit who mourns her drowned children, have been passed down through generations. Contemporary writers like Z. Edgel have put Belize on the literary map with her novel, Becca Lam. The heart of the nation is its capital, Belmopan, one of the world's smallest capital cities. This quiet city, located near the geographic center of the country, is where important decisions about Belize's future are made. The southern part of Belize takes you to Toledo, the least developed but perhaps the most culturally rich district. It's the heartland of Belize's Maya population and home to some of the most pristine rainforests and offshore kai.
Belizeans are justifiably proud of their diverse heritage. This is reflected in the Garifuna language, music, and dance, which are recognized by UNESCO as masterpieces of the oral and intangible heritage of humanity. Belize is also a birder's paradise, with more than 600 species of birds. The scarlet macaw, the keel-billed toucan, Belize's national bird, and the elusive harpy eagle are some of the feathered inhabitants of this country. One of the most fascinating Maya sites in Belize is Actin Tunichil Muknal, ATM, Cave. This Cave of the Crystal Sepulchre is not only a natural wonder but also an archaeological gold mine, with Maya pottery and human remains preserved by calcite from the cave's drifts. For those who crave adrenaline rush, Belize offers thrilling adventures. From scuba diving and snorkeling in the world's second largest barrier reef to zip lining over dense rainforests or exploring ancient Maya caves, there's something for every adventurer. The resilient spirit of Belizeans is a testimony to their rich and challenging history. Their harmonious coexistence amid diversity sets a model for the world. Belize, though small in size, is truly a land of enchanting paradoxes. A nation that harmoniously weaves a tapestry of cultures, history, nature, and modernity. A place where every sunset viewed from a Caribbean beach, every ancient Maya glyph, every melody of Punta music, and every encounter with its warm people is an unforgettable experience. Until we meet again, farewell.